Hello there, welcome to the corporate news to watch on Wednesday, June the 29th. Dixons is expected to report an 18% rise in its annual pre-tax profits to £450 million. And so that's thanks to snapping up a greater share of the mobile phone market. And it's expected to push into the US soon after announcing plans last year to launch up to 500 stores under a partnership with its Connected World Services arm and also Sprint as well, which is America's third largest mobile phone group. Although, in light of Brexit, there has been talk about a weak pound putting pressure on costs and prices. So that's something to watch with this company going forward. OK, let's go forward and talk about Green King, the Suffolk-based pubs and brewing group as well. It's received its fifth consecutive Certificate of Excellence from the travel review website TripAdvisor. So that's a boost for the company. Now, another boost is the Euro 2016 as well, because the company recently said that over a third of British football fans intend to watch at least one game of the European Championships in a pub this summer. Now, Obviously, England's out of the competition as well, so whether or not that will play into that factor, but we'll certainly watch that anyway. OK, other UK earnings, let's talk about those, because there's plenty of those. We've got the, um, it's a bus and train company, Stagecoach, I'm sure you've heard of, but it's actually had a very bad year. It had a warning in April that its rail business had been hit by weak consumer confidence and terrorism concerns too. Uh, we've also got McCarthy and Stone on the list and Bunzel as well. That's for the UK. Let's talk about the US earnings because these are the three that we're watching. We've got the agriculture giant Monsanto on the list there. Now Brexit is, would you believe it, an issue for this one because it's an issue involving a huge deal right now with the German drugs and chemicals group Bayer, which has reportedly made an offer to buy the US seeds uh, company for $62 billion, including debt as well, which would create the world's biggest agricultural supply. Now, the problem is, due to currency fluctuations, this deal is yet to be sealed, obviously, between the US dollar and the euro. So Brexit is literally playing into everything right now. OK, that is it. That is all the company data that we are watching. And uh, be sure to check out the economic report as well, because there's lots going on in that department too. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.